Hello everyone, um, welcome back to a, um, another video. Um, I just thought, first of all, let me, let me start off by saying Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope you uh, had a nice Christmas and um, uh, you spent time with your family, you know, regardless of what your um, laws may be. You know, sometimes life's too short to not. Um, so with that out of the way, and I hope you have a very, very uh, happy new year. But I'll probably make another video by then anyway, so I can play it in that video. But, so... I don't know what your Christmas presents were, but my Christmas present was was this. A a um fuzz a fuzz war pedal made in Soviet Russia in the nineteen seventies. Now you can see it's this beautiful turquoisey colour. In the photos when I bought this, I bought this from a man called Alex uh Trakinov. Trafkinov, Trafkinov, I'm quite sure that's what his name was, <laughs> off Reverb, Not a lovely Russian man, great, great customer service, I'll, I'll even uh, link his thing, uh, his, his Reverb shop in the description, because he does have other listings, so if you are interested, you can possibly get your, your yourself one with some um, Christmas money or something, anyway, so, um, <clears throat> So I, so I got this, this was my Christmas present, I got it from him, he lives in Perm, Russia, it's the pla I don't know where Perm is, it's, that's just what it said on his reverb shop, so it does come directly from Russia, built in the 1970s during, um, the, so during Soviet Russia, I think that was when Brezhnev was ruling Soviet, the Soviet, the USSR, however I'm not entirely, actually no, oh, I can't remember. I think it was Brezhnev, I'm quite sure it was Brezhnev, because he was after Khrushchev um, and Gorbachev was in 81, but I think there might have been a one in between them, I'm not sure, I'm not too sure, anyway, regardless, it was, it was, because of the Afghanistan war, sorry, I'm getting really off track, but <laughs> it was, um, made in the 1970s, and it is a very peculiar pedal. So first of all, it comes in this lovely turquoisey colour. On the like I said on the reverb shop, it didn't seem to be so turquoisey. It seemed to be more blue, but I love this colour personally. <clears throat> and um, it does, you know, it is second hand, fifty years old. It is in great condition to be fifty years old. The only sort of scratches there are some, you know, this, these chips on the paint there. You can see the light sort of. If I try not to get the light reflecting on it too much, but you see these chips of paint it should just be normally black. And also something I love is this Russian sticker, with the Russian writing. I'm, I don't speak Russian. I don't really know what any of this actually says. I mean, I can guess, but like I don't know what actually any of it actually says. Um, but it's just this beautiful, this this beautiful, beautiful pedal. Um, and so you know, it's it's it it, it is an amazing piece of history, and that that was a motive. On, on getting it, getting vintage gear, um, I think personally, regardless of how it sounds, it's just cooler than buying something new, in my personal opinion, and it can be even cooler if it's from something so iconic as Soviet Russia, you know, when things over there weren't so, um, you know, when the people there weren't opened up to the world and they were sort of creating their own sort of things which were far different from the western sounds, you know, like the, the fuzz faces and the the maestro, uh, the maestro fuzz, uh, whatever the pedal is called, I can't remember, like the big one, um, the one that, yeah, and these are quite popular, fuzz wars, if you go on the reverb shops, you see a lot of fuzz wars for sale, which is interesting to me, there's also other ones, um, like the, there's, there's like a, there are other, like, just separate fuzzes and wars, and I've seen a flanger, and I've seen, um, auto wars and sort of drum machines, but um, so so these are available, and this particular model is well, that, that's what it that's what that's it is in Russian. There, um, uh, I don't think you can really read that writing on the bottom, even if because it, it's not fudged, obviously, you can't unless you are Russian. But, um, it, the company, um, what it, what it was listed under was Spectre 2, that was the company. So I'm assuming that's what it is, you know, Spectre, and then two, um, and um, there is another one exactly like this, which is white, for sale, which I, I don't know, maybe it's been sold by now, but I know there was, and um, <clears throat> yeah, so, 
a bit more on the pedal. It has this nice, like, it's almost rubbery. I don't know what it is. It's like this plastic, really sort of um, grippy kind of, uh, well, not grippy, but like, you know, traction and kind of friction surface on it. Um, you know, moves like this. A very interesting feature. This does not have traditional. So th this is the fuzz on the wall. These, th this is what this controls. And it works. You'll be able to see better if I do this, actually. It's like a toggle switch. Like a pit, like a pickup selector or something like that on your phone. You don't, uh, in your guitar. You don't push it down. You, you move it side to side. And when I first saw this, I thought these were rollers. Like I thought, I thought they were wheels which you could spin. But no, they're just switches. And in it, a funny thing, you can actually spin these all the way around. I don't know why they're not they're not secured on there properly. But but I thought that was very like very interesting piece of sort of Russian en engineering. I guess you can say to un very untraditional to re to the rest of of what we are used to in guitar pedals. I don't know if other pedals like that are like that. I don't think they are from what I saw in the photo. But you can see the Russian writing there. I'm quite sure that says one of them is on and the other one's off. I th uh, that one's that one is off because uh, you need because to, to turn it on you need to push them. It is difficult to do. Wait, oh, I was trying to do it the wrong way. Wait, no, so you need to do it down. So this is on, this is off. I think. Um, then you have that word, which that 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 means fuzz because I was messing around with that and this one can controls the fuzz. So this this word is going to be war. Which is an interesting thing. In Russian, because cause the word wa is, is due to the way it sounds. So, like, it, it's not like a word that can be directly translated. Obviously, they have a literal different, like, letter and, like, language structure in general. But it, I just wonder, I wonder how that would translate. And then, you have the input and the output, both on the same side, which is rather peculiar. However, I think, from what I understand, other pedals, they don't, this is going to be a long video, so, just so you know, so stay tight. Um, other pedals, they have like a MIDI kind of input, it's like, um, I don't think it is MIDI, but it looks like that, it has like, you know, it's like a circle, and then it has like, multiple different prongs of, of like, on the top, top thing. So I'm quite sure Alex, the man I bought it from, has changes around, um, and you know, it's like input, output, or whatever, like. and then, I don't know how, this is very off place, I don't know how it's supposed to be powered originally, but this is how it's powered now, and I'm quite sure something must have broke, or maybe it wasn't originally a 9 volt, I think because he was saying he, he modded it to be a 9 volt adapter, so I don't know what kind of power supply it would have taken before, I don't know if it would have been batteries, I haven't um, unscrewed this and really taken a look at it, um, um, but I'll see. And then you also have this control, which I personally actually haven't been messing around with. I haven't touched that yet. Um, but I think because the man Alex he did a video for me uh, before I bought it, and I think it controls the volume or something. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, enough chit chat. I think we need to hear the pedal. Okay, so now you're getting a um, getting a look at the wall. It's being fueled, is being powered by my T Rex uh, fuel tank power supply. An interesting note, just before you hear it, it, um, like, there's no click. Like, when you know, when you plug in a pedal and it can sometimes it clicks in, there is no click. It, like, smooth, it goes in and out really smoothly. Which I would, I don't, I, I don't really see that as a positive, to be honest. I think it's a negative, but, um, but whatever, I th it's cool regardless. So, I'm playing through my Washburn, um, my Washburn X50 P Pro Q with Seymour Duncan's. So this is this is just a clean sound, so nothing um, is going directly into the pedal, into the amp, and this is just it completely uh, no effects on the bridge pickup. This is this is it's going to take a while because we had to do fuzz and wah, but this is um these are my new slippers. I hope you like them. They've got memory foam on the insides. So very comfortable to wear. Um, this is uh, the fuzz. So 
also, like I said, I have to push forward with my foot and turn on. Wait, wait. It is, it is difficult to do. I can't say it's a very ergonomic thing. I would prefer just a toggle switch, but it, 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 it does make it cool. Yeah, so push forward, and now this is the fuzz. <laughs> There's not a lot of feed. Obviously, these are um, humbuckers, but it's very quiet compared to, for example, this stone death warp drive that I have. This is far louder, and it's not a fuzz. It's just a high gain distortion. So I don't know. So I, I think it's an interesting circuit. I think it's very quiet. So I'll play some more here. <laughs> It's got a lot of um, bass to it. Um, it's very muty, like a fuzz. I have to, my, um, my on my amp. I have to treble quite high, and it still sort of overtakes it a lot. Uh, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna roll the volume down now and see how it sounds. Sorry, this is I meant the tone, not the volume. <laughs> tell very much difference i guess it's because it's so bassy in the first place this is now the um single coil mode uh, uh, ta single tapped it so if you do have single coils this might what it sound like for you interesting thing I'm gonna now just um, roll down the volume I'm really trying to get as much out of this pedal as I can if you watch my um, why why pedals are overrated I don't think they actually are overrated I just think you should get the most out of your guitar and your amp and pedal before you start buying an episode things um, but I'm just gonna turn the volume down see how it sounds and you can see it does um, it does uh, uh, lighten up, but not very much. Like it's not a clean, but it's not like all all fat fuzz, you know. <laughs> It's kind of just like a light distortion, but you can really, really hear the um, the character of, and the um, tone of, of the fuzz, you know, from turning it down. It's, um, it's, it's got an interesting character, and then when you turn it up, you know. You get the fuzz. I think that's enough of that. Now I'm going to go into just just the wah. Um, just the wah by itself, no fuzz, because you can do it at the same time. So this is just the um, wah. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> 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 
So you see it has a completely different character to, to, to traditional wars. Is is I think I in my personal opinion I think it has a far larger range and the um again the tonality of it it has it has lots of it's far much more highs I believe. That's just my you know, I'm not a expert in war, so someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm getting from it. So now I'm gonna turn the fuzz and the war on at the same time and see how that sounds. Okay. <laughs> I think the wah takes up a lot of the fuzz tones. You you don't get the traditional sort of wah fuzz kind of combination which you usually would hear. I don't know if the in the circuitry, because it's not like two different pedals, I don't know if maybe the the, the wah is going in front of the fuzz or the fuzz is going in front of the wah. I wouldn't want to say that the fuzz is going in front of the wah due to the fact of the tone, and that's not the traditional tonality you seem to hear, but that's just my opinion. I could be wrong again. So, so I'll, I'll keep playing. I'll keep playing some more. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give it the um, the voodoo child, the voodoo child um, test to see if it passes that. <laughs> So you can hear, I would say like, if you, t if you take traditional songs like Electric Funeral, particularly Electric Funeral, it, it, the, the amount of distortion definitely goes away. I would say it passes the voodoo child, I think that sounds really good. If not even, you know, I think it have, I think it's a very nasally sort of... I think it's a very nasally sort of fuzz, uh, I mean with the wah, with the high. <laughs> And I just think it's, it's a very interesting tonality which you are not used to hearing um, usually. I'm just I'm just going to keep playing for it for a couple of seconds just to really sort of um, explore all the different possibilities. But I think the vi the video is almost done. Uh, so I just, wait, I just turned it. Off. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,
If I see another person, if I watch another war video and they are barefooted, you you are actually revolting to me. You are disgusting as a human being. I do not want to see your bony, hairy feet with your disgusting yellow ingrown toenails. Put even putting socks on, in my opinion, is not good enough. Put shoes on or put slippers on, in my case. I think it's I I I'm just, I'm revolted when people do it. I know I know it's a bit of a side note, but it, it's actually disgusting to me. So <clears throat> that's that is that. You can see, you can tell um, from the, from it that it is is very minimalist, and that is personally what I love about it. The 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 history, the history, the minimalism, and and the functionality. The fact that it's a was far and a was at the same time. It's it's not like my warp drive, which I had for so long. What's it? It's not love my warp drive I had for so long, but it's got all these things. It's like, no, literally you just plug in and it sounds good. If I want to change it, there is that one thing on the side which I showed you, which I said I didn't mess around with, and also the um, um, amp, and also the amp um, thing. But, that, but that's it. I just, I'm really interested in this. I'm really interested in getting an interesting tone and not, and getting things secondhand. Things for the story, things that are actually going to make. A guitar player and actually inspire you, not just another one, not just another flanger, phaser, whatever it is. Get something that's actually different and really offset. You know, an interesting thing I've been thinking about recently when you hear really early guitar recordings, a lot of their tones are so weird. Like, in, in today's standards, like if you think the kinks, like, um, sh uh, she really got me going now that song it's like the guitar tone in that is so different you never hear that today it's like why it's because they didn't have anything to compare it to it was a guitar tone and it worked and they just went with it i, I encourage that i encourage more weird guitar tones don't be doing everything like like just have something different just have something different it doesn't matter if it's the fattest or the most um you know, commercial kind of tone, just have something interesting, just have something that's going to inspire you and other people, and that's what I should think we should take away from this, uh, uh, one piece of, uh, th just one, just one small detail about this, which I really love, is, um, the, um, you see how that black, the black base overlaps a little bit there, on the right hand side, it doesn't do it for the left, it's completely, Flush. I, I think that's I think that's quite cool. I don't know what they, they obviously drilled the holes to say millimeter out for the um for the foot things. <coughs> I don't know what I don't know if they were using CNC milling and like the cam and cat and cam or what, but but yeah. Anyway, I think that's this video. I hope you enjoyed. I have a plethora of future videos. Please stay tuned. I do. I will be uploading more. Um, and I hope. Sorry, my head's getting in the way. And I hope um, everyone has a uh, nice holidays. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.